So today we're just going to learn the basics on how to set up a point of interest waypoint mission in the Red Waypoint app using the DJI Spark. First you want to make sure that your location is on on your phone and then we're ready to begin. We'll load up the map and then once that's loaded we will click the plan offline button. That is going to load up your location on Google Maps. Our starting point for setting our mission. Once that's all loaded you'll see a few buttons on the side. The red target on the left is how you reset the map wherever you want it to be. The gray eye is your waypoints counters. We're going to be using the blue and the orange one. And the red eye underneath is how you delete your waypoints and such. First off you're going to hit settings top right there. This is going to bring up a few settings on a couple things, what you want your drone to move at. So we're going to put my drone speed at 10 miles an hour. The action you want your drone to do after it's finished with the mission. I'm going to keep that at none so it just sits where it is when it's done with the mission. And the waypoint mode, which auto, initial, VC, and custom, they're all a little more advanced. We're going to stick with the basics. basics and go with point of interest. Go ahead and hit accept. Now we're ready to set our waypoints. Back to the gray eye over there on the right. We're going to click the orange eye which is your point of interest. Click on the map where you want your point of interest. I'm going to put it right here on this building which is a car wash. And we're going to click back on the orange eye on the right. Hit a blue eye which is the actual waypoints. And we're going to Put four waypoints around our point of interest. Tap on the screen where you want your waypoints to be. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Now we have to set the settings for each waypoint. Tap on the waypoint, number one, and you set the altitude. I'm going to put it at 55 meters, which is like 162 feet or something. Uh, one meter is three feet three inches I believe then you have your heading which way you want your drone to face and your gimbal which way you want your camera angled at but these are a little more advanced and we'll get to that in a different tutorial we'll go ahead and hit configure and repeat the process for every waypoint waypoint three just making sure they're all even at 55 meters. Not doing anything special right now. This is just a basic flight. Then we have to make sure that we set our point of interest. Now, I just set my point of interest at the same as my waypoints. It's easier because when we're in the mission, we will be able to control the camera on our own so we won't need any of that advanced training yet once you're finished with all that you're ready to fly you want to just click the mission top there on the right hit save name your mission whatever you want it to be we'll just do test one hit accept and we're ready to fly. All right, you're just gonna wanna turn your drone on like normal. Hook to the Wi-Fi. I haven't used the OTG cable yet, so it's strictly Wi-Fi tutorial. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and open up your app. This time you're gonna hit fly. The connect will change to the word fly. It is drizzling out here, but I wanted to get this done for a friend, so I figured I might as well make a full video and help everybody else out too.
right now I have 10 satellites you see it says disconnected if you to back out and hit fly again it'll pop up and say ready to go it's some kind of glitch but easy fix all right so now all I gotta do is hit mission load your mission remember we had test one shows me my home point and then shows me my mission right there well, now you're gonna have to take your drone off which you can hear once your drone is taken off and you're ready to go you just hit the play button and your drone will automatically go up and start its mission might as well record this and the whole time that your drone is in the air you have full control over your gimbal As you can see my drone is going to head all the way over to the waypoint one but as it does that it stays on the point of interest this will allow you to get a few different angles being able to control the gimbal any which way you want you see I've reached the first waypoint and now I'm going to the second waypoint obviously you would line it up better so you have a better camera sight when you're doing this <coughs> this is just a quick tutorial on how to do it always remember that this speed is laggy the video on your SD card will be nice As you can see I'm headed towards the third one now almost to the third one it's turning itself let's bring this gimbal down a little bit nice little pan right there my point of interest was the red roof so that's why the drone keeps turning on that direction almost at my last destination there it is, mission finished. And now I have full control over my drone. I will bring it home myself. And that's it. That's how you execute a mission.